So I have the following matrix A and I want to do a QR decomposition of it using this time the given rotation. Okay? So remember the formula. We have our cosine here and our sine here. And remember how they are given. Cosine is given as the top element of the vector we consider. First we consider the first column vector, so the top element will be this one here. Uh, so cosine will be this top element over the square root of this top element and the, um, uh, the square root of this top element plus the element we want to eliminate the square, okay? So the first element we want to eliminate, eliminate is this one here, okay? So it will be 1 over square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, so it will be 1 over square root of 2. And the uh, sign similarly will be the element you want to eliminate, so this one here, over the square root of this element squared plus the top element of the um, vector we consider, okay? So we have now our cosine and our sine, okay? And uh, so now we can set up our given sortation. So remember how we put the cosine and the sines, okay? The, cos the first cos cosine is uh, in the uh, uh, is i-th row and i-th column, okay? So i being the, the the row of the element you want to eliminate, okay? So if i is the row of the element we want to eliminate, okay? So here i is 2, okay? i is 2. Because uh, it's uh, this one here that you want to eliminate is in the second row, okay? So our first cosine is in the, um, the place 2, 2, okay? i equals 2. So it will be here, okay? Our second cosine is on the uh, place j, j, okay, or j is the column, this time of the element uh, we want to eliminate, okay, so the column is 1, okay, so j is 1. So the second cosine will be on the place 1, 1, okay, so it will be this cosine here. The minus sign is uh, given by, is in the place a, j, okay, so in the place 2, 1, okay. So, um, uh, it will be here. Um, also, you can rem remember the minus sign is always in the place of the element you want to eliminate, okay? Uh, maybe this can you can use that as a shortcut if you want. The other sign is in the place ji, so uh, this time it will be 1, 2, okay? So first row, second column, so it'll be here, it will be here, okay? Next, we fill everything else with a zero except the diagonal where we put where we put ones. Okay, so if you had another column here, uh, if it would would have been a four by four matrix, we would put put zeros here and the one here in the diagonal and zero here too. Okay, um, and we can extend that uh, in how many dimensions as you want. Okay, so now we apply our given sortation to A. Okay. And then, as expected, the, the element you wanted to eliminate is now 0, okay? And you get a bunch of other numbers, so square root of 2, 3 over square root of 2, 3 over square root of 2, uh, 1 over square root of 2, negative 1 over square root of 2, 2, 1, and 1, okay? So now again, we do the same thing, but this time the element you want to eliminate is this one here, okay? So our cosine is the top element of the, this vector, so square root of 2, uh, over the square root of this element squared, so square root of 2 squared, plus the elemi element you want to eliminate squared, so 2 squared, okay? So it will be square root of 2 over the square root of square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, so it will be square root of 2 over square root of 6, so 1 over square root of 3, okay? Um, and the sine uh, will be um, again given by uh, the, the element you want to eliminate, so 2, over the square root of this element in squared, element in squared and the top element squared, okay? So it will be 2 over square root of 6, so it will be uh, square root of 2 over square root of 3, okay? Because uh, square root of 6 is square root of 3 times square root of 2, and uh, so uh, this can could be rewritten re re as um, 2, over square root of two, uh, 2 times square root of 3 and so here we would be left with the square root of 2 uh, in the denominator and the square root of 3 in the denominator, okay? And now again for the place uh, so the element we want to eliminate is in the place a i equals 3 
and j equals one. Okay, so third row, first column. Okay, so um, the first cosine will be in the place a a a. So um, i a sorry. Um, so it will be in the place three three. Okay, so here. The second cosine will be in the place j j, so one one. Okay, so it will be here. The negative sign will be in the place of the element we want to eliminate, so it will be here. Or you could say uh, it's in the place uh, i j, so um, three one. Okay, which is the case here. And uh, the positive sign is in the place j i, so it will be in the place uh, first row, third column. Okay. And again, you put zero elsewhere and uh, a one in the diagonal. Okay, ones in the diagonal. Okay. So now you apply it again to A, uh, and you get the following matrix: square root of six, five over square root of six, five over square root of six, zero, one over square root of two, negative one over square root of two, zero as expected, minus two over square root of three, minus two over square root of three. Okay. So as expected, our element here is now zero. Okay, and uh, now again we uh, redo everything, but this time, this time, be careful. Uh, now we want to eliminate this element here. But to do that, we will only consider um, this sub matrix here. Okay, because um, yeah, we will only consider this sub matrix here. Okay, we won't consider the uh, the element elements outside. Okay. So if we only consider this submatrix, the top element of this submatrix will be this one here yeah, of the of the first vector, of the fir the top element of the first column vector of this of this submatrix will be this element in here. Okay, so it will be one over square root of two. Okay, I hope you understand what to say. Okay, we just consider this submatrix this time. Okay, so our cosine uh, will be given by the the top element. Top element, sorry, the cosine will be given by the top element of the first column vector of this submatrix. Okay, so as said, it is one over square root of two uh, over the square root of this element square plus the element element we want to eliminate squared. Okay, so uh, we get the following. Okay, I hope you can read it. So it's one over square root of two over the square root of one over two uh, plus three over three. Okay. Uh, four over three, sorry. Uh, and our sine will be given by the element element we want to eliminate, okay, over the square root of this element squared, uh, and the top element of the the first column vector of this submatrix squared, okay. So we will get minus two over square root of three over the square root of one over two plus three uh, four over three, okay. And again, now our third uh, given sortation will be of the following form. So um, the element we want to eliminate is uh, in the third row, second column. Okay, so i uh, i equals um, three and j equals two. Okay, I hope you can read it. Um, and so uh, our first cosine is in the place i i. So it will be uh, in the place three three, okay. Our second is in the place j j, so uh, two two. So it will be here. The negative sign is in the place of the element we want to eliminate, okay. Or it is is in the place a j, so um, three two, okay, which is the case here. And uh, the positive sign is in the place um, uh, j i, so in the place two three. So here, okay, and again you put zero elsewhere and the ones in the diagonal. Okay, so there is a one here. Okay, now you apply it again to um, uh, yeah the the um, as a first rotation. Okay, um, and you you get the following result. Okay, so as expected, we have a zero here again. Okay, and so now we have our upper triangle matrix. R, okay, so this is R, and so remember that A is equal to QR and Q transpose A is equal to R, so we have already found our R, 
and to find the Q, we know that Q transpose is equal to uh, the oh, um, um, J3 times J2 times J1, or if you read it this way, J1 times J2, uh, 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 G1 times J G2 times G3, okay? Um, yes, um, so you can find Q if you take the transpose of everything. Okay, and uh, so you then you can find the the QRT composition of your matrix. Okay, and remember all the all we made all we all we did basically is we applied several rotations to the column vector of this matrix uh, in such a way that um, each time we apply a rotation, we um, we 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 move basically our vector on the coordinate axis okay so um, for example for this first column vector here one one two uh, here we are in three dimensions so we can uh, still visualize it okay so we have our vector we have our z axis x axis and y axis okay uh, everything we did um, first we rotated in such a way that the y component is zero okay so we basically we um, uh, we projected it on the um, uh, let me choose another color uh, we projected on the x z plane okay so uh, that the y component is zero okay so we moved it in such a way that yeah the y component is zero so now that the vector is in the x z plane and then we applied another rotation. This time to eliminate this element here, uh, so that now this vector, which was at this point in the x z plane, lies now entirely on the x axis. Okay, so uh, here we are for x axis. I hope you can see it. This is the x axis, uh, and now our vector lies here. Okay, I hope you can uh, uh, see what I mean. So here we have our vector on the uh, x-axis and here we would have the z-axis and the y-axis. Okay, so we applied several rotations and each time you project basically the vector on a plane uh, such that one of its components becomes zero, okay? So that's all we did, okay? So yeah, that, that's the geometric meaning of what you said, okay? I hope this is clear, okay? clear okay uh, yes so I think that is it so what's the what you should remember is those uh, formulas for cosine and sine okay so cosine is the top element of the vector we consider or or the top element of the vector in the sub matrix we consider okay over the square root of this element squared uh, plus the element we want to eliminate squared and sine is the element you want to eliminate over the square root of this element squared and the top element of the vector or the top element of the vector of the submatrix, okay? And uh, here you have your for informations about how and where you put the cosine and the sine in the matrix. And remember, you put ones in the diagonal and zero elsewhere, okay? Uh, for the remaining uh, elements in the matrix, okay? Yes, so uh, I think that's it. Then you get your uh, QRT composition. You are you already get it, and uh, you know that Q transpose is equal to uh, all those given rotations applied to A. So you can find Q by taking the transpose of, of all those uh, given rotation applications on A, and so you find your Q. Okay, uh, and that said, uh, all we did basically is rotate vectors several times. Uh, such that each time one of its components becomes zero. So we project the vector each time on a, on an axis on a, on a, on a, on a plane. Sorry. Okay. So in three dimensions, here we projected our vector in the x z plane, and then uh, we projected it on the x axis. Okay. Not really projected. We rotated it in such a way that it now lies in the x z plane, respectively, on the x axis. Okay. Yeah. So I I hope I forgot nothing and I hope you understand understood what I said. 
and uh, yeah thanks for watching